So in my last video, I did a short video on uh, converting images to emojicons. And what I mean by that, again, um, if you've ever played the game Wordle, uh, when you beat the game, it does give you something to share that uses emojicons to show your progress in the game. And I thought, hey, can I convert images to emojicons in my shell? So I wrote a quick, it's only a couple of lines, it's actually very simple to convert an image to emojicons. Of course, I'm doing it in monochrome, so I'm only using black and white emojis, but uh, you could improve this script to show other colors as well. So uh, let's see how that script works real quick. I run my script, I give it an image such as image.bmp, uh, uh, so bitmap, that's this image here, and when I run that, it gives me the emojicons images in the shell here. Now again, this has to be a low resolution image because each one of these squares is a pixel in the image. So if it went really large, it would go off the screen and everything would uh, get discombobulated. Now I also can do it with a JPEG image. And if you watched my previous video two or three videos ago, we talked about converting images to text um, and how you get different values when you're using JPEG compression because it actually creates other colored pixels around your pixels. Let's look at my script and see how I overcame that. Again, doing it monochrome made it a lot easier. If you're going to implement other colors, you might have to take a few extra steps. But real quick, let's just open up my script file and have a look at what I did here. Uh, the first little thing here, this is just like a little help telling you how to run the script. Basically, you need to give it an input. But here, we're going to convert the image. We're using threshold 50, and we're going to output the text. Again, if we output the text, let's do that for one of our images. Again, we're using convert, which is part of the image magic package, uh, which if you're on Linux, you probably already have installed. If not, it's in your package manager. It is cross-platform and is a very commonly used uh, package for converting images, especially on like web servers and whatnot. Uh, but if I can give it an image, such as image.bmp, uh, and then I can say text colon dash tells me to output it as text value out to the shell. So I do that and it actually gives me a value for each pixel in that image. It tells me the coordinates of that pixel, the RGB value, the hex value, and then for certain colors, such as black and white and other standard colors, it will actually just give me the word black or white or red. Uh, what the threshold is doing is that's eliminating. So if I do that same thing with the JPEG image, you can see that we get values that aren't the standard white or black. And I just want a monochrome black and white image. And if there's pixels that are the colors off, the threshold basically just snaps everything into place and gets rid of those pixels that might be a little off color. Uh, so that's what that line of code is doing there. It's basically just, there's another way to get monochrome, and I don't think I use that because if you have the JPEG, it might add those pixels in how you don't want threshold, like splits them, divides them up fairly well, uh, at least for all the examples I've done. And this next line of code here is what it's doing is it's actually getting the how many pixels the, the width resolution of the image, because I need that to divide things up later on. So again, if I was to run this command to get the text and I was just to head the last line, the first line, so I get the first line of text, it basically tells me uh, the, the resolution of the image and things about the color and I just want the width of the image. So if I was to get that output and here, let's go back into my code real quick. I will take this line here and run that same command. Now it's just going to give me, in this case, 20. It's 20 by 20, but it's giving me the width of the image, which I will use in my next line of code, is I'm taking that width count, and I'm taking the text that I got from the image, and I'm removing that first line because of the comment, and then I'm just going through and I'm grabbing that final column, and I'm looking, does it say black or white, right? If it says white, give me a white emoji con. If it says black, give me this it's kind of a gray emoji con, but you can change whatever color you want. Again, you could set this up to go through for other colors like red or green. And then basically, I'm going to print out all those emoji cons, but using the count that we got earlier is where I'm going to put our new line. So every 20th character, we're going to put a new line. That's it. So really, if you cut out this and the comments, I'm doing all this in three lines of code. And so we get our script here, which there will be a link to this script in the description of this video up on Pastebin, but I can give it an image, whether it's a JPEG or a bitmap, and, whoops, not image2, but image.jpg, and it'll spit out a monochrome 
Emojicon image to the shell. I think I just this is just for fun. Um, it's similar to programs that might maybe use uh, to create ASCII art, but I'm doing it with Emojicons. And it was just a fun little project that maybe you could play around with and find some uses for in your shell. Again, you can use it on larger images. So, for example, this image here is 640 by probably 480 or something like that. Uh, 640, actually, it says right there, 640 by uh, 427. If I was to run my code on that image, it will work, but because uh, the screen, the, the character width of my shell is so small, uh, nothing's going to get lined up properly. It's going to take a little while to convert all the text, and then you kind of get this. And um, of course, I can always zoom out a little bit and try running it again, but unless I can get 640 pixels wide or characters wide in my shell, the image is not going to look quite right. Um, so that's a limitation of it. Of course, you could always resize the image in the script before converting it to text, and that would help so you could probably get the count of characters on the screen and then resize your image to that width and then run it. Uh, so again, you could do a lot more if you add more lines of the code, but in basically three lines of code, I was able to get quite a bit done. So again, check out the link in the description of this video for this script. Uh, I hope this all made sense to you. If not, maybe watch my previous two videos where I go into a little more detail and actually go back a little bit further. I talk about how to install uh, color emoji cons on your, on your machine. So that's it. Films by Chris. Dot com. That's Chris with the K. There's a link in the description. Also check out my Patreon page. If you go to filmsbychris.com, uh, there's a support section where you can support me through PayPal, LibrePay, or um, Patreon. And I do appreciate the support. I thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.